Welcome to Liftoff, your first place where you find everything space and often SpaceX. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket roared into space Friday, carrying a retired NASA astronaut and three wealthy civilians on the first non-government, fully commercial flight to the International Space Station. A trailblazing mission intended to help pave the way to a privately operated space lab. Using a previously flown first stage, the Falcon 9 thundered to life at 11.17am EDT and vaulted skyward from the historic Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, climbing away to the northeast. Strapped into a Crew Dragon capsule atop the rocket were Axiom 1 mission commander Michael Lopez Alegria, a former NASA astronaut and vice president at the Houston-based company Axiom Space, and his crewmates, Ohio investor Larry Connor, Canadian entrepreneur Mark Pathy, and Israeli Ayatine Stebe, a former F-16 fighter pilot and businessman. Docking was delayed by a glitch that obstructed the video feed used to monitor the connection, forcing the capsule to maintain its position 20 meters or 66 feet away from the orbital research center for about 45 minutes until the problem was fixed. There's a tradition, when you pass a certain boundary, you become an astronaut. That's what happened to these three gentlemen for the first time yesterday. Now, I'd like to note it officially. Commander Michael Lopez Alegria said before pinning each of his crewmates with a pin from the Association of Space Explorers per Axiom Space. The automated climb to space appeared to go smoothly with the rocket's first stage powering the vehicle out of the dense lower atmosphere before falling away to head for a landing on an offshore drone ship. It was the booster's fourth flight, and its picture-perfect landing marked SpaceX's 113th successful first stage recovery. The second stage, meanwhile, completed the climb to orbit, and the Crew Dragon was released to fly on its own, 12 minutes after liftoff. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. A flight controller radioed. We copy. It's great to hear, Lopez Alegria replied. Then, echoing John Glenn's words after reaching orbit 60 years ago, he added, Zero G, and we feel fine. The launching marked the sixth piloted flight of a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. It's the second fully commercial flight to orbit, following the privately financed Inspiration4 mission last September, and the first all-commercial visit to the International Space Station. On behalf of the Falcon 9 team, welcome to SpaceX, radioed Bill Gerstenmeier. NASA's former director of spaceflight operations and now a senior manager with SpaceX. Thanks for flying Falcon 9. You guys enjoy your trip to that wonderful space station in the sky. Do some research for us and we will look to see you back here on the ground. It was a hell of a ride, Lopez Alegria said. We're looking forward to the next 10 days. If all goes well, Lopez, Alegria and Connor, a veteran private pilot, will monitor an automated 20-hour rendezvous and approach to the space station before moving in for docking at the lab's forward harmony module around 7.45 a.m. on Saturday. The commercial crew will be welcomed aboard by station commander Thomas Marshburn, Roger Chari, Kayla Barron and German astronaut Matthias Maurer who launched aboard another Crew Dragon capsule last November. Also on hand, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemyev, Denis Medvedev, and Sergei Korsakov, who arrived at the post last month. Eleven private astronauts, or space tourists, have visited the space station over the past two decades under the commercial arrangements with the Russian Space Agency, but they were all escorted by professional cosmonauts and flew on government-sponsored missions. The Axiom-1, or Ax-1 crew, is the first all-commercial non-government flight to the station, and the first sanctioned by NASA. The mission was financed by Axiom Space, a company with deep roots in the aerospace community that is working with NASA to build commercial space station modules that initially will be attached to the International Space Station. When the ISS is retired at the end of this decade, the Axiom modules will be detached to fly on their own as an independent, commercially operated space station. 
X1 is the first in a series of stepping stone flights leading up to the first commercial module launch in 2024. Additional flights and modules are planned after that. The Axiom 1 crew. Lopez Alegria, an Axiom vice president, is a veteran of four space flights who served as commander of the space station before retiring from NASA in 2012. He received refresher training for the X-1 flight and serves as a mentor to his very successful rookie crewmates. Connor is a non-profit activist investor and founder of The Connor Group, a real estate investment firm managing $3.5 billion in assets. He is an acrobatic pilot, off-road racer and mountaineer. Paffy is chairman and CEO of a Montreal-based investment and finance company. Stibber flew F-16 jets in the Israeli Air Force, later serving in the reserves while building a successful business career. During active duty, he served under Ilan Ramon, who lost his life in the Columbia shuttle disaster after becoming the first Israeli in space. His mission is sponsored, in part, by the Ramon Foundation and the Israeli Space Agency. Assisted by Lopez Alegria, all three X-1 passengers plan a full state of biomedical research, technology development and public outreach activities, far beyond the usual fare for space tourists. I think it's important to address the difference between space tourism and private astronauts, Connor said before launch. Our feeling is with space tourists, they'll spend 10 or 15 hours training, 5 to 10 minutes in space. In our case, we've spent anywhere from 750 to over 1,000 hours training. We're going to do some 25 different experiments, encompassing over 100 hours of research. We understand this first civilian mission is a big honor and a big opportunity, but with that comes a big responsibility, and that is to execute the mission correctly and successfully. In an interview with CBS correspondent Mark Strassman, Lopez Alegria said the mission looks like a government mission from the outside. The difference is that this is a private company and these are private customers. This is a real turning point in human spaceflight. X-1 isn't the first all-private crewed orbital mission of any type. That distinction goes to Inspiration4, a four-person flight funded and commanded by tech billionaire Jared Isaacman. He and his crewmates orbited Earth for nearly three days in September 2021 aboard a Dragon capsule, which never met up with the ISS. And that's all the information we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like, share with your friends and family. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications to see more upcoming videos about great space and SpaceX. Thank you for watching. See you next time.